All right, I'm back out here with a bunch more stuff. You know I'm always out there getting this stuff, and I got a lot this week. This is actually just a few days of thrifting and a bunch of estate sales on Friday and some yard sales on Saturday. So let's just dive in and start looking at some of this fun stuff. All right, I picked up these Hunter Leather cartridge belts, size large, some 30 out six in there. I paid $25 a piece just because I was in a hustle to buy it. This estate sale, and I'd gotten there early, so I didn't want to leave empty-handed, and I didn't. But these will probably just go on the armory ladies. Like so. I picked up this awesome flatware carving set, the uh, pageant harvest. It's got four knives or five knives. I wouldn't be surprised to get 50 bucks for that. I paid two bucks for the silverware and this cool flint best egg beater. It's a nice shape, cool vintage one. I like the look of it, but I don't know what it's worth. These Star Wars bags I thought were pretty cool. They gave them to you first class on Delta. Pay two bucks a piece. And inside, there is just your eye mask and all that stuff. Earplugs and eye mask, which sometimes you need. Oh, not Delta. It's United. What's that worth? Alright, I paid $25 for this Wii system with two controllers. One wired and two games. Wii Sports Resort and Lego Batman. I don't know. Probably not too much to make there, but we'll see. I paid five bucks for these WR Pro by Asden receivers. WR and WM. This was a good find. It was only two bucks, and it's a little water game. A little wooden water game by Kiko. I recall paying two dollars for this Recollections. Six hole punch for crafting. I was happy to pay ten dollars for this fat loss monitor at the DEI, Deseret Industries, thrift store. I thought these were a cool find for seven dollars. Some uh, Evil Dead, Book of the Deads, CD, probably DVD. Look at the dad. I found this Yellowstone New Era beanie in the dollar bin. I thought that was pretty cool. I bet I could get 20 bucks or close. I haven't looked this one up. But I pick up little pencil sharpeners sometimes when they look cool. This Pokemon Master Trainer was five bucks. Thought that was a good deal. This Crescendo Airbrush Kit. I was hoping it was new. It was a dollar fifty, and it is. Model one seventy-five. I tested this vintage GE radio at the Goodwill, so I paid the three ninety-nine. It works good seems to all be there. Some corrosion. What's that worth? I use one of these dirt devils at home because I've got pets. And it works pretty good. This one works good. And I paid five bucks. I paid five bucks a piece for these vintage power tools. This Milwaukee Saza. This Senco Cincinnati Model K nail gun with wheels. This was a fun find. Little presidential seal. It's a cool patina look for 99 cents at the Goodwill. 
I ended up haggling and getting these for eight dollars at a garage sale, a yard sale, and they're new Mavic Scorpio 12s. This assault tower for $3.99 I thought was a pretty good deal. I bet you somebody wants it to use on their Dungeons and Dragons board or something like that. All of this audio equipment came from a yard sale, the Tau Integrated Amplifier, BG-130, some Audio Technica wireless receivers. I paid 10 bucks for everything. This was an incredible find. I paid $25 for this Foxy Bay hair curling iron. It looks professional quality. It works really good. Looks like it was barely used. So my Foxy Bay is going to my eBay. I paid $10 a piece for these Sony Mega Storage 200 CD changers. They both lit up and seem to be working. I'll do a little more research. With a little wheeling and dealing, I got this Paw Patrol Ultimate City Tower for $12. And it is new in there. It's just got a damaged box. I paid $20 for this Burton snowboard with Burton bindings because I like the bindings, of course. I'll sell those on eBay for probably 60 bucks, but who knows? And I can probably sell this Burton Motion on local for the same 20 I paid. These youth top flight clubs were a great deal for five bucks. I think I can sell the bag local for more than that. And one of these clubs is still sealed. And that is the driver for no information driver. Oh, two of them are sealed. Got a nine iron and a driver. And then a red zone. I paid a hundred dollars for these Broncos clubs. Well, Broncos bag, set of golf clubs. I think I can sell that bag locally come golf season. Let's pull these clubs out and see what I got. Okay, so this was a great deal. These, this driver is tailor-made M4. That should get me my hundred bucks back, I think. Then I've got, well, Wilson, who cares about that? A couple of Nike Squatch. The SQ Sasquatch, a four and a five, I believe, a three and a four, this tailor-made rescue, 19, got this Nike Convert, this Nike T60, four, the two Nike Ignite got a four and a five hybrid. And those go with these irons because that's the rest of the iron set. And these Ignite are good clubs. Got this Odyssey putter, a little white hot Odyssey with a nice slim 30 grip. And this Odyssey chipper 37, it's Marksman Exact. So that was a pretty good score. This was a cool find. This Yamaha Sound Reinforcement Mixer PM430. It lights up. I imagine it works, but I'll just sell it saying it lights up. I haven't tested it. Well, there you have it, guys. I had a good time going through this stuff. I'm really excited about those golf clubs. I already got some bids on some of that stuff, so that should be good. And that uh, mixer at the end, that's good money right there. So that already has four watchers. I imagine they'll sell quick. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Drifting until I'm a millionaire. Spend all of my money at thrift stores and yard sales.